Hi, welcome to this, uh, I would call it more uh, a demonstration than a, a tutorial. Uh, if you followed um, through my previous um, tutorials on how to use some of the modules in MI Rack, you should be able, following uh, this video, with the suggestion I'm making to actually understand how this patch has been built. Um, so please go back if you're not familiar to the previous uh, uh, videos and check how uh, some of the modules are being used. There are of course new modules which I've introduced in um, uh, this demonstration. However, I don't think it should be too difficult actually to figure out how they can be used. If not, leave me a comment and I will be more than happy to recreate this patch. So let me uh, first play it uh, for you, and I'm going to unmute and unmute some parts as well. And then, then I'm going to guide you through on how I created it, okay? Okay, so let's go through um, how I created the patch. So, there are obviously two clock modules, as you can see there. And the first one is actually driving the drums, and the second one is driving um, the soft waves and um, also uh, the bass sounds and the FM operators. Um, from a drum perspective, if you go back to one of my previous tutorial, uh, you should be able to uh, figure out how I use the kick, close, uh, hi-hats and snare. Uh, obviously everything is going through an 8-channel drum mixer. Then starting from the top left, I use the cloud generator um, this time. And that is used to actually create the bass sound that you hear. And I put that through a staircase uh, um, a module um, from a, um, a ladder effect a filter so to add that special effects that I think is very much needed um, if you are unfamiliar how to use the cloud generator double click double click on it uh, click on view manual and then, then you can also go to the external um, uh, manual and see how that works by pretty straightforward the same on the stairway a ladder field click uh, on the on double click on the module click view manual and here if you scroll down it gives you all the different uh, explanation how to use the filter card to the resonance the drive etc etc i used the um, eight step sequencer to drive the uh, sound base then what i have done i have used them um, to um phrase sequencer uh, the bottom one is actually driving the two uh, vco the two souls vco and the top one instead is driving the fm operator which you see there the fm operators then go through an nadsr module uh, sorry a mixer um the souls go through an adsr module and individual mixer and then i had it um, M verb and high verb for both the FM operators and also the um, the SOS uh, oscillator. On the bottom, you see a compressor and another mixer, which I very much started to use to um, emphasize more the kick drum because I wanted to give a little bit more body to that kick drum. Um, and then I was as I was playing a moment ago, I. I muted and I muted on the channel mixer some of the parts so that you could uh, um, hear better 
um, um, all different parts of how the patch has been created. Um, anyway, hopefully this is straightforward, but um, if you think um, you would benefit for me to create this from scratch, I'm more than happy actually to do that. Just leave me a comment and um, I will create um, a new one for you. Uh, I hope you found this useful and uh, if you want the patch, drop, drop me an email and I will send you a, uh, the patch file as well for you to navigate through. Thank you. Bye.